is how they diagnose IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. So they're looking for inflammation in the digestive tract. First they'll do an endoscopy and look around in the stomach in the duodenum. Then they'll do a colonoscopy and they'll look around the colon and sometimes they can get to the first part of the small intestine or they will do an MRI or an x-ray and try to look at the small intestine. They might also do blood tests and stool tests and breath tests to try to find something and if they can't find anything they'll diagnose the person with IBS. I think the majority of IBS symptoms are coming from the gallbladder, especially if your poop is like green, stinky, bile and it smells really bad, but it also could be coming from the intestinal muscles, especially if you are bloated and constipated. Now the intestinal muscles control how fast or slow food moves through your intestines or it blocks gas and holds it up and makes you bloated. So I have a free webinar where I essentially show you my 13-day protocol. It's a mini, free mini version of this where I go through all the digestive organs and try to help you figure out what's really causing your gut symptoms. And